All right guys, welcome to your 20th biology tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about the nucleus of the cell. Now the nucleus of the cell is basically the brain of the cell. And by the end of this tutorial, you're gonna understand what I mean by the brain of the cell. But under a microscope, if you were to, you know, this of course is the cell membrane right here. I know it looks like a potato. But if you were to look at a cell under a microscope, the nucleus would look like a big, dark spot in the smack dab middle of the cell. So here is the nucleus right here. Let me go ahead and label the cytoplasm. And another cool thing is that all of the DNA inside your cell is actually located inside the nucleus. Now it isn't just like tangled up in a big ball and floating around. Uh, let me go ahead and get my color. So this light blue thing is actually called the nuclear membrane or some people call it the nuclear envelope. So your nucleus is basically protected by this thing called a nuclear envelope basically the same way that your cell is protected by a cell membrane. Um, both have a lot of similarities. They both have pores that allow things to pass through. Your nuclear envelope allow things like proteins and other things to pass through but its main job is to protect the DNA inside the nucleus. Now there are other things aside from DNA inside there and we'll talk about that later on whenever we figure out exactly how proteins are made in the cell but just remember right now that inside the nucleus is DNA and surrounding that DNA is a nuclear envelope and the nuclear envelope is similar to the cell membrane because it protects the nucleus and allows certain things to pass through. Now the reason that people call the nucleus of your cell the brain or control center these are terms that you're going to be hearing a lot is because the DNA inside the nucleus obviously as we already know contains instructions on how to build proteins and proteins do a lot of different things throughout your body and another thing is what the cell does this cell right here what it does depends on the action of the proteins that it creates. So that's why people say that the nucleus is indeed the brain or control center of the cell because it's very important. Now a lot of people were debating, you know what, well, is the nucleus really the brain of the cell? Is it really that important because yeah it has DNA and stuff, but how important is it? Well let me go ahead and draw you guys a little experiment and hopefully you guys will understand just how important the nucleus is. So if you transplanted the nucleus from one cell into the cytoplasm of another cell, let me go ahead and get a new color. Actually, let me go ahead and get yellow. So if you were to take the nucleus, we'll say from cell A, and plop it over into the cytoplasm of cell B, what would happen is the cell, cell B, we'll call this one cell A over here, it would start behaving according to the instruction from the new nucleus, nucleus A. So no matter what that cell did before, it would start behaving according to whatever nucleus A told it to. So that's why people definitely agreed then after this experiment that you know what, indeed the nucleus is the true brain or true control center of the cell. So again, we'll talk more about you know transplanting nuclei and uh, all that good stuff later on when we learn exactly how proteins are made but for now just remember all this stuff right here basically what we need to remember is the nucleus is basically the brain of the cell it's gonna look like a big dark spot in the middle of the cytoplasm and aside from DNA there are a couple more things that are stored in the nucleus but just remember that DNA is stored in the nucleus all the DNA in your cell and uh, of course we have to remember the nuclear envelope protects the nucleus and it allows certain things to pass through and in the next tutorial we're going to be talking about ribosomes and we're going to learn about a couple things that are allowed to go in and out of the nucleus but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lesson